Hi, I'm Rocco Stano, and welcome to Storymakers. Today, our guest is author Lisa Katzenberger, author of Croc and Gator, Swamp Ranger School. Welcome, Lisa. Hi, Rocco. Thanks for having me. I see there's a crocodile and alligator on the cover, and they seem to be very chummy. So is this a story about friendship? Well, Croc and Gator is a story about a crocodile who is super serious and an alligator who isn't. And they're both training to be swamp rangers in their swamp. But they're quite the opposite, and building a friendship for these guys isn't going to be too easy. And this is the first in a series of stories about them. Yep, there are more books coming out in the Croc and Gator series. Wait until you see what additional adventures they get into. Have you ever been to a swamp? I have. My family took a swamp tour in Louisiana. And I learned that swamps are diverse ecosystems with a variety of different plants and animals. Animals like crocodiles and alligators? That's right. Do you know how to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, Rocco? I don't think so. How? First, crocodiles are much bigger than alligators. Crocodiles are also a grayish green, but alligators, their shade varies from a brown to a green. And then crocodiles, when they close their mouth, you can still see their teeth but with alligators you can't. Now, here's the easiest way to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. Do you know, Rocco? No, uh, what is it? Whether you see them later or in a while. <laughs> there are other animals in the story, and did you have to do research on those animals also? I did. I saw a few animals on my tour, like I saw a pig swimming in water, I saw a raccoon, crawling around the roots of a banyan tree, but I wanted to include a lot of animals in the story. So I found out that there are hundreds of varieties of animals that live in the swamp. Croc and Gator are very different. They have different personalities. Who are you more like? I think I'm more like Croc. I can be quiet and I like my routine. What about you, Rocco? I'm definitely like Gator. Can't you tell? The one thing they both have in common is that they both want to be swamp rangers and learn about nature and animals and conservation. Is a swamp ranger like a park ranger? Yes, they are. In fact, the Swamp Ranger Academy that Croc and Gator and their friends attend was modeled after the actual park ranger academy. When my family visited the Smoky Mountains, we learned about the National Park Service's Junior Ranger Program, whose work is to protect our national parks. So. There's a real Ranger Academy. Can our viewers join it? They absolutely can. When you visit a national park, you can do an activity to learn about the features of that park. And then when you're done with your assignment, you take an oath and you become a part of the National Park Service family as a junior ranger. My family has done this program in our travels throughout the country. But here's the good news. You can become a junior park ranger virtually, so don't worry if there's not a park nearby. Do you get a diploma or a certificate or a badge? Yes, you get a badge and a certificate when you become a junior ranger. There are so many fun illustrations in the book by Mike Chicatello, and I have one right here that has the class listening to their teacher, Miss Egret. They're all different types of animals. So I was wondering if our viewers, if you take a close look at this, if you can name all those animals. And I can give you a hint, there are 10. Okay, there are 10 animals. Let us know your answers in the comments section below. 10, 10, our viewers can find out about national parks, right? Yep, there are resources in the back of the book, and here's a cool link you can click to see if there's a national park nearby. So now I have a list of things to do, Lisa. Yes, I have to go and visit the Smoky Mountains. I have to go and visit a swamp, and I have to find a national park near me. And so I'm gonna be very busy. Thank you so much for being with us today. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Remember, until next time, read a book in any format.